I wanted to introduce you to one of my newest toys that I just picked up for just a couple of bucks. This crazy rig right here. I picked up this little bendable tripod and it had this arm that came off that mounted the phone or an external battery and had a place to mount an extra camera. In this case, I'm using my old GoPro on this. And this creates just a really nice and fun little setup for vlogging. It sets up as a tripod so I can set it up, film myself coming and going because the phone has cameras going both ways. I can put an external battery on this and plug it into the GoPro to give myself an incredible crazy amount of time. I could detach this arm. I don't have to use it. Now I've done a couple things for modifications. I've added this little housing for the GoPro and I have it set and I built it so it could slide in and out. Um, I'm able just to quickly take the GoPro in and out, yet it's fairly sturdy in there. I did mount a shoe, a cold shoe on the top. This one happened to have a quarter 20 thread, so I mounted this so I can put in my wireless mic, my Asden mic that gives me problems all the time. But uh, right now it's the only wireless mic that I have. It's older, works on VHF technology. And in fact, you may have heard some of the problems that I had with sound and I'll link the worst video with sound right here. But this is just a fun little vlog system. In fact, right now I am running it. Um, I am filming out of the GoPro and out of the iPhone currently, as well as recording on my mirrorless camera. It makes a wonderful setup that I can vlog with. I can have both the closer, view from the iPhone, the more wide angle view from the GoPro, all in one handy unit. Plus, well, the other thing I can do is I can spin this camera around, the iPhone camera around and have it point the other direction, or I could even turn the GoPro around. So I can see myself vlogging with the iPhone and the GoPro is filming that way. And you can see my cameraman quite clearly in the background. So I have created this new crazy contraption to do some vlogging with. Michelle and I are planning on doing a little bit of travel and we're gonna be in some locations where it might be handy to have more than one camera available or an ability to mount the camera onto various objects and things. And that's actually what I'm gonna demonstrate right now as we come up to this play set and we will mount this camera right to this should be able to simply wrap these legs around and be able to hold this guy in place while we film. Uh, it does make it a little bit crooked and we can possibly make this a little more level, get this cable out of the way, all type of various issues. This is the first time I've actually mounted this system onto anything. Let's see if we can make this a little more level on the GoPro. And there we have it. There we've got the system and it's mounted right up and onto there. I'm filming vlogging style with two different cameras plus the XE3 as it's videoing me right now. And hopefully this will allow me get in the frame. Hopefully this will allow a little more flexibility. The other thing that the iPhone allows me to do vlogging with the iPhone is I can flip the camera around and shoot the other way. So I could be videoing myself and the other direction all at the same time. And now I'm filming vlogging style where I've got this going in two different directions. The GoPro is pointed at me and vlogging me. The iPhone is pointed the other way and looking out. So with that, we can see, of course you can see my wonderful camera assistant that I have on the Fujifilm camera but it makes for quite an interesting, interesting system. So hopefully we can mount the camera onto this tree. You can see where we are. See my camera set up on a tripod right behind. And then we've got this set up right here. So let's try to mount this guy onto this tree. Let's see what we can come up with. tripod adjustment on that. I can even 
level up this shot a little bit. Should work right like that. And there, now we have the setup. We can walk fully around and then film in both directions on this. What a neat, neat setup. So I can do I can do a few various things with this setup as well. Obviously, the legs can splay out as a regular tripod. You can set them up where they splay wide or with a simple flip of a switch. It'd be more of a narrower spread, how they work. This arm can hold many things. Um, it can not only hold a phone in this situation, um, it can also hold a, a battery, like a uh, recharging battery. So you can put one of those um, thousand or hundred thousand, whatever amp hour batteries and mount that into this and plug it into the GoPro and provide a lot more power as you're going. There's a number of accessories that can mount into this. Kind of, kind of interesting, isn't it? <laughs> I should have brought my business cards with me. Um, I'm actually filming. I got all three cameras going right now at one time doing video work. Um, I actually have a YouTube channel where I do photography instruction and some travel vlogs and different things. All I'm doing is making a vlog that's going to be about, hey, I just got this new tripod and setup. It's kind of crazy. So I got a, I got a wireless lab of me to record. You know, get the receiver there. So it's, uh, it's a really interesting setup. Thanks. Oh yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a great time. And of course, it's not a requirement to have the phone hooked to that little arm. As you can see right up here, I've got nothing in the little arm. I have the phone out at the moment. I think this is gonna be a great addition to our travel vlog. But it does make for an interesting setup where I can have more of a normal lens shooting with the iPhone, the more wide angle or panoramic lens with the GoPro. And it makes for a really nice, nice handle on this to, uh, to hold the GoPro, hold the phone. It's not heavy at all. And again, I can take this little arm off so that we don't have to have this accessory connection. So I could even have three points of photography going all at the same time, or I should say, videography going all at the same time. All right. So do I look here? Do I look here? Or do I look there? Out of the box, this adapter came where it wrapped around the GoPro and sealed it. There was a flange in the front and in the back, so it totally locked it in, but it was really difficult and tight to get this guy in and out of there. So I filed off the front edge those little protrusions or whatever that came out, I left the ones on the back and this would slide in and out. It fits snug enough. Um, I don't know as I would go motorcycling or um, uh, mountain biking with it hooked up in this kind of a enclosure like this. But for simple walk arounds and vlogging, this is working out ideal. I'm very, very pleased with how this is working. The company's name, I believe they pronounce it Tech Elks, and I'll put a link to this little mini tripod in the description below. But I believe it's gonna be a great addition and that it'll work out really well for travel and simple vlogging. Um, it makes for a great holder, it's very inexpensive. That's gonna finish up my review of this Tech Elks um, little mini tripod, little bendy tripod. If you like reviews like this that are more practical and less technical oriented, give me a like, give me a thumbs up right down below. I'll wait while you do that. And while I'm waiting, I'm gonna put up a couple other videos in various corners. I'm not really sure where I'm gonna end up with these videos, but um, if you take a minute and give them a like or give those a watch as well, I'd really appreciate it. As always, thanks for coming along. Hopefully, you like this video.